Hello everyone and welcome to a new series I like to call User Wants Reports. And here we have this masked individual uh, being a victim of an armed robbery. So here I'm telling him to go to the ground, obviously I mistype as usual because I'm panicked as hell. So this individual is the person I'll be reporting and you'll see why in a, in a few moments. So Jessica Stone is actually my associate who baited this person uh, to this alleyway for me to rob him. Jessica, as you can see, she has a mole on her, which is the green text you see in the chat box. Uh, as you can see, he's not complying, so I kick him, and then finally he roleplays laying down on the ground. Still, he's trying to stop for time as much as possible, he's not doing front fall, he's just crouching down. Uh, even though he roleplayed laying down on the ground, I tell him to front fall, and he finally does. The person you see in the background with the cloth skin, he's completely irrelevant, he just happened to be there. Now, um, as you can see, I lay down, and we have another one, another person coming up, and he, uh, and I'm laughing because I'm trying to get everyone on ground, and admittedly, I got distracted from the other person, so this guy just jumps up immediately with no roleplay and starts running away. As you can see, he's running from side to side, which makes it extremely hard to hit him, and I also get some frame freezes because those happen at the best times possible. The times you need a smooth frame rate, that's when you uh, lose your frame rate below 30, and that's when it's impossible to shoot. Uh, so I'm trying to hit him. As you can see, he's also bunny hopping. Uh, you can see, and another one. How many bunny hops can we count? I counted two so far. Uh, another one. So three bunny hops, and as I start to shoot at him again, he immediately begins strafing. So the black car pulls up, and there's two uh, white guys in there, so I assume they are cops, so we begin running away. And we see him again show up here, um, and he starts strafing again, which we combine with lag, is just makes him impossible to shoot. Next scene, uh, we see Matteo Toscas, which is... Toscani, which is another victim, the guy who distracted me in the first place, he is not related to the masked individual who I'm reporting. So Matteo opens back fire at me, uh, and someone just shoots me from the side. Now this person who shot me, this person is actually, uh, I actually had no idea who he is because he was so far away, and I had to report to find out his ID. And it's really annoying that it doesn't show the ID of the individual who shot you. Uh, but yeah, I ended up, because because in the rules you're allowed to ask, you know, why were you killed. You're allowed to ask for that, so that you can evaluate if that was a, re a re like, you know, a proper reason to kill someone. So as you can see, an admin finally responds to me. He tells me uh, the ID of the person who killed me, and uh, now I start talking with him, and he tells me that the person, the masked person that I was shooting earlier told him that I was shooting at him. Now the problem is, while he was running away from me, he kept uh, strafing from side to side and bunny hopping. Had he not done that, I would have been able to shoot him. We've been running all over the place and I would have definitely been able to shoot him. So that's why I'm reporting him. So, because, yeah, I, he wouldn't be able to run away from me and I would be able to keep my weapon. Uh, so yeah, that's what generally was this report about. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first series of user one reports and stay awesome.